so you're making microtonal music in Bitwig Studio, and it's all going pretty well, except just one thing. It looks a bit weird on the piano roll. I've got a piece of music here, and these MIDI notes are in 26 tone equal temperament, which means I have 26 notes per octave. But the design of the piano roll behind them is actually for 12 tone equal temperament, which is 12 notes per octave, and 12 doesn't exactly match up with 26. Well, did you know there's actually a workaround that lets you do any custom piano roll you like? Uh, could look something like this. Uh, here I've used the, uh, just a black note to show where my octaves are, and I filled the rest with, with white notes, but you can do any design you want. You can even have different colors, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first of all, you want to not be in clip mode, but in, in track, which shows you your entire arrangement uh, all in one view. And then you want to turn on this layered editing mode, which is really the trick to getting this working. Um, at the moment, I've got my bells track selected so I can see only bells. Um, if you're unfamiliar, if you've not looked at this before, you can actually pin um, different MIDI tracks. You can actually see them at once, which is quite helpful for um, finding um, weird notes and, and making sure everything's in key with each other. So what's the secret to making this work? Well, at, as you can see up here, I have um, I have this group called Guides, and inside this is just normal instrument tracks, you know, MIDI tracks with just a, a very long MIDI clip. I've made the MIDI clip long enough to span my entire song. If you're if you're not sure how long your song is, you make it as long as you like. And importantly, these tracks have a different color. So if I show my inspector panel, I have this one set to dark gray, which I'm using for my black notes. And I have this one set to light gray, which I'm using for my white notes. You could have any color you like, really. So let's take a look inside one of these tracks. Let's uh, switch over into edit view. I'm going to unpin some of these and I'm just going to pin the one that I've named guide octaves. You can name it whatever you like, piano roll octaves or whatever makes sense to you really. And you can see here how I've made this. I have a MIDI note every 26 notes. If I click that, hold the control button, allows me to duplicate that. I know here I'm at two octaves. I'm looking at the piano roll on the left, see? I know that's one octave, I know that's two octaves. Uh, sorry, I know that's 12 steps. I know that's 24 steps, so this must be 26. And you can see I've just, I've just repeated that a few times until I've filled up the entire piano roll like that. So how have I done the other one? Let me click the padlock so that we don't lose, we don't accidentally edit what's already been done. But I can now click the pin on guide. And here I have my white notes. And you might think, oh, what's the point of having these if they're just blank? But actually having these white notes here does obscure the piano roll underneath. And here's what it looks like if I click the padlock for both of them. So now I have, I can select any other notes. Let's, let's pin my bells, for example. And now I can select and I can work with my MIDI as I like. But in the background, I have a more intelligible piano roll. If my version of Bitwig looks a little bit different, I'm on a slightly old version, but I'm pretty sure this should um, work with the most recent versions of Bitwig Studio. Uh, let me know if you give this a try and um, if you get it working and what kinds of uh, piano rolls you, you come up with for working on your music. Thank you.